Speaking of waiting, I think you guys have waited long enough. It is time for Maverick himself to make his big entrance approaching the USS Midway right now. Guys, Tom Cruise is approaching in a helicopter. Here he comes. Take a look. That is not just a helicopter. That's Tom Cruise in a helicopter. As you guys probably know, Tom has had his pilot's license since 1994. His love of aviation probably rivals that of the legendary Maverick himself. Tom took matters into his own hands on this film. He helped train the cast members on a flight program. He designed and supervised it himself. Also, <laughs> this is a fun fact that I was blown away by. The P-51 Mustang in the film is a plane that Tom himself owns. And yes, this is an entrance that only Tom Cruise can make for only a film like Top Gun Maverick. Here it is. The best entrance I've ever seen at a red carpet. Tom Cruise in a helicopter. is what I call an entrance. Give it up, folks. Tom Cruise, a.k.a. Maverick, joining us on the USS Midway. Domiti Simone, I'm in a little bit of shock. Domiti, what do you think? There are a lot of things I expected to see in my lifetime. Tom Cruise landing on a red carpet was not one of them. Now, this film is a love letter to aviation just as much as it's a love letter to cinema. Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom, we went over this. I was going to pick you up in the Uber. It was going to be really simple, but you had to just show me up. <laughs> you don't do anything simple. Um, I've been on many a red carpet. That's the best entrance I've ever seen. Well, this, thank you. this movie is epic, man. Congratulations. Thank Top you. Gun Maverick, many years thank in you. the making. Let me just say, yeah. it's great to see you. It's good to see you, buddy. This moment right here to see everybody at this time, no masks. Everyone, this is this is uh, pretty epic, very epic, an epic, Wonderful. Epic, an epic right, moment in an epic Hi, career. Bob. How are you? <laughs> uh, Top Gun, an epic film um, that we've been talking about a sequel for years. Why was now the time? You guys have been thinking about this forever. Why is the time now for Maverick? It was really now or never. 
there's a moment. You know, we've been looking at how how to tell this story, and I've been trying to figure it out and thinking about it, talking with Jerry and, you know, talk to Chris McCourty and Joe, you know, when we were doing Oblivion, Joe kept talking about Top Gun and, you know, I just, we started to, I was always thinking the technology, how it would evolve to be able to give the audience that kind of experience and everywhere around the world, they just, they wanted to see this movie and it was, it was now or never and finally the story came together in a way and, and tech, uh, technically what the things that I felt that we could give to an audience, a global audience, was something that I thought, okay, well, if we're going to go in, we're going to go in now. Yeah. Well, it is a marriage of, like, the most amazing technical know-how and also the emotion. I mean, I, I was telling some of your cast members, this film is an emotional roller coaster. I was like, I, I, literally, I, I didn't think I was going to cry during a Top Gun film, Tom. <laughs> well, if you remember the first one. I mean, poor you know, and people, yeah, people right, forget, it was yeah. very interesting. One of the things we did, you know, I sat everyone down, we went through the whole movie together. Like, you gotta understand, everyone thinks, you know, what Top Gun is, and of course it's a, it's this great summer experience, and what it became to audiences and through the generations is something I, I couldn't even imagine at the time we were making it. I knew it was special, but who knows that, how it transcends the, you know, generations. But it's a drama. It is a drama at its heart, and it has that kind of storytelling that I cut my teeth on, that I love seeing with, with those kind of characters, all of these great characters. And it was so much fun working with Joe. There's a cast. Look at you guys. Come on, man. What a cast we have. This cast is amazing. Where are these guys? They're unbelievable, these guys. Look at them. We've been waiting a long time. A long time. It's like this moment. I'm so happy for them to have this moment. Finally, it's coming out. So it's beautiful. You put got a very talented group. You put this group Run through it. their through their paces. You put them through training like no other. I mean, you know, we know you demand authenticity. Talk to me about what you wanted to bring to the aerial fight sequences in this film that we've never seen before. Well, it's just really the characters because motion, you know, it's not just it's not just action or stunts. It's character and it's story. That is king. Story is king. And what we talked about early on is, you know, when you look at for, you know, the first Top Gun, one of the things that I had was in my contract that you had, I had to fly in the F-14 and be filmed in the F-14. That was a stipulation. I always wanted to make movies and be an aviator. And as we went through it, I made Fallout, and I was always in the back of my mind, I'm going, when, when I was doing, even before Fallout, I was American made, going technically, and how's that story, and what can I do, and where's that technology? How can we tell this kind of story? So it was always there. Top Gun was, it was daunting. I'm not gonna say, this is, it wasn't like, oh yeah, let's go do it. It was daunting. It's, the movie means, you know, a lot to me, a lot to my career, a lot to the studio, a lot to audiences. You know, at a certain point you make a movie, it's not mine, it's everyone's. And how do I do this? And how do we do this? And Jerry and I would talk about it. And so here we are today and these guys, you know, they just rose to the occasion. I sat down with them each and said, look, this is what we're gonna do. And then I showed them what we were going to do. <laughs> and I remember that day, you know, I went, I did an early test to show them the aerial stuff. And I, I would have them sit in the uh, meetings with me because I wanted them to see every step of it. The briefings, story, you know, we had to work with them to set them up to win. I want to, I want to see them really win. And when they're in the F-18, that they feel confident and comfortable and that they are their characters. And... So we had to go through and they had to understand about editing and lighting. We also had to work with the other fighter pilots who were flying the aircraft to teach them about film, lighting, cinematography. But I had them there to a pl point where by the time it's their turn to be in the F-18, they were running the show. I wanted them, uh, and I just sat back and they would run the briefing. You know, Joe, all of us would sit back and they, they were in control and they knew their characters, they knew the story. And that's what I want. It's like you get people to that stage and let them go. Let, you know, I want to know their ideas. I, wanna, I want them in control of their own performance and destiny. And, and they just, they're amazing. I mean, each one of them. What about for you stepping back into this? But your all's face is the first time you saw that. I'll never, I will never forget it. <laughs> I like, see. okay, this guy's like, he is for real. <laughs> like, we knew he's for real, but he's for real, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what about for you, the deja vu of it all must be intense to step back into the character. Like, is there a moment that stands out to you, putting the weather jacket on, getting on the motorcycle, an emotional moment stepping back into character? There are so many. Coming back here, uh, just Jerry and I sitting down together and watching the film together for the first time and we hadn't seen it in decades and there are many emotional moments sitting down with the actors uh figuring out the character and talking about it there's it was 
they're set, you know, and the actors, they go like, they're looking at me going, what's it like for you to come back? And I'm, I'm looking at them, I'm looking at this. It was, it was emotional. Yeah. And it was something that, look, I was just, I'm very grateful because it's not easy. It's not easy to try to figure out for an audience and deliver because I, I want to deliver for them. Right. And I'm not, I, I love entertaining an audience and I, love learning and pushing all of my skills as a storyteller and an actor and and it's also it's the beauty of making a movie it's not me it's us together it's the accumulation of talent and knowing how to discover and bring that talent together and everyone shines and that's that's the dream and that an audience will go and then appreciate it and the kind of reaction that we've gotten it's the, it's the moment to go, you, I just want people to be happy and I want them to feel like, yes, yes. I know so many people sat in that audience going, okay, you know, don't choke. Yep. You know, well, don't you, blow it. You did not blow it. You delivered. <laughs> Good, if, there, you. if there was a camera trained on me during this movie, you would have seen me <laughs> grinning for two hours, <laughs> Tom. You really delivered good, this good, one. Good, good, good. Um, congratulations. Thank I don't you. know how you're going to top the entrance for Mission Impossible. Maybe you'll jump out of a volcano into my arms. We'll have to figure that out. That's not a bad idea. Let's work on it. Yeah, I you got a year that. to work yeah, on it. You know what? I, I'm all up for ideas. All right. Okay, okay, excellent. Congratulations again, That's man. Great Enjoy to see you. Great to see you. It is, man. Great to see you. Good to be out, right? Thank you all. Thank you. Tom Cruise, everybody. Thank you. Joe Mattia, let's go over to you with Mr. Jay Ellis, I believe. I am with Jay Ellis, who portrays Payback. First of all, can we just let that moment breathe for Tom a moment? Tom Cruise, everybody! Tom everybody! Tom Cruise! <laughs> Jay, we were saying this feels like a fever dream, doesn't it? This is, this is what it felt like every single day filming this movie. I mean, that's what it's like working with Tom and working with this cast. Every single day was, was a dream.